make my screen a little bit smaller. Okay, it should be sound and all. Oh, no, no, that's right. There ain't going to be no sound. I remember now. I had to mute it. I remembered last night I had to mute it because the game, again, the sound was... There it is. Okay, sound looks good. Cool, cool. No, music. There was music. I had to mute it last night because of, um... I was playing Dungeon Master. Okay, move my cursor. Should play fine here. I hope. Oh, it's acting up. Exactly. I still use a Java version of, uh, I gotta restart the game, it's acting weird. Because I kept entering and repassing it over and over and over, so it probably fucked it up. Hold on. Fix it. That's the thing about DOSBox, unfortunately, if you keep trying to goof with it too much, you're gonna screw it up. Like I just did just now. All right. Fantasy action game. Zillard. Once long ago, a terrible storm came to the land of Zillard. Okay, I think I have to press enter. Yep. I think I skipped the entire storyline by mistake. It's okay. <laughs> Got this. Brave Duke Garland, you'll need money for your journey. I hereby bestow upon you a thousand golds. Go to the town and outfit yourself, then make haste and elaborate to defeat the forces of Jashin. My kingdom and the life of my daughter are at stake. Daughter's over here. What is it? Uh, is this game cropped on the window? Kinda. Okay. That works. I've been underground. I've been in the underground town. After I fled, they put a lock on the door. That was somehow still there. This is the chamber of the poor Princess Facilia, who has been turned to stone. You may enter, Duke Garland. I have to uh, crop it by four by three. There you go. Ray said, "Gave us a story." <laughs> there you go. If you need the story? It's right there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Works perfect for me. Ah, you're the warrior I heard about. My son Michael was a uh, courageous warrior. He went into the caverns and never been seen again. Please be careful. I will. Uh, how can I be of service? Buy a shield. Uh, wise man shield. That'd be cool. Uh, can't afford that. Nor that. Sure. Go outside. Let's give me again. This is where you heal. I think you also level up on the wise, uh... Oh! Hello! How can I help you? Buy an item? What are you looking for? That's right, there you go. No need to play the game anymore. GG. Nope. 
Go outside. Thank you, sir. Please come again. Thank. Is this the, uh, Nick Sage? Yep. Marland, you are very brave to embark on such a dangerous journey. So I insist you in your travels. Court experience. Uh, we're going to input the name. Yes. And we will listen to knowledge. My master, the sage Asman, resides in the underground town. She is a person you can turn if you ever are in need. Anything else I can do for you? Nope. Go outside. Are you going to the caverns? You are a very brave man. They say there are many doors in the ground that are locked and keys are scattered uh, throughout the behem uh, behemoths. What? The labyrinths. This is what I get for playing Dauntless earlier. Uh, I hope you can find them. Sound this soundtrack is so freaking good. <laughs> like it said, the visuals for this game are so freaking impressive. Like I did a, a pretty lengthy article, kind of showing off some of the platformers of the yes, uh, early. I'm sorry, a little bit later '80s technically. My reality, yeah. But not fun time. Russian Saga is pretty excellent. I have the uh, second one. Uh, ready? Uh, not ready. Um, Tori there, or the late Tori, she gave me a copy of that, the second game, which I was very surprised she found one because it was kind of expensive. But she found it super cheap at a flea market, and I was like, what the heck? Like, it surprised the hell out of me. And so, she grabbed it for me, and I was, like, so shocked. Okay, grab that, wait for the slug to come down. To me, I feel like this is what um, this is what Legend of Zelda 2 should have been. But this, I mean, yes, it's technically copied Legend of Zelda 2, but at the same time, it I feel like Zelda 2 could have used some of this refinement. Holy crap! Every single slug in there. Oh, the soundtrack is incredible. <laughs> like two is or Zelda two is still good. It was, you know, I mean, it just needed. I feel like it needed some more refinement, but it was still a fun game. Like, it was a little janky, but it was like that janky that it could have been better, but it wasn't so bad. But I'm happy they went back to the style that they went with. I used Keiko's, but that's, you, now you see why I bought all those potions. Because <laughs> I would have got my butt kicked there. This is a great... I'm very surprised no developer decided to put this back on Steam or GOG. Oh, how you doing, Draconic Dude? No worries, no worries. Happy to see you here. The soundtrack is so good. And the controls are simple, too. Space bars to attack. You can attack in several different directions. Um, you use arrow keys, which again, very simple controls there. Uh, use enter to go into your menu. 
to get arrow key up is to jump. So personally, I would have preferred to, uh, let me see. They said something about the joystick, so control J. Yeah, they say something about you can use control J to... Okay, it doesn't look like it's gonna work. Here, have the controls sit next to me here so I can read them. I have to backtrack to the town here in a second. That's not the exit, what am I saying? There it is. We're gonna backtrack to town real quick and get ourselves some more potions and all that and level up a bit. Uh, call upon the spirits. There we go. <laughs> I love how you can just keep asking and like, stop it. <laughs> You're like, I can't do no my nothing else. Some more of these. I forgot what the Alamas are for. I gotta look it up. I don't remember what the hell the Alamas are for, though. Yeah, it's like that Genesis vibe to it in terms of the soundtrack. And I respect, too, how they kind of put it in, like, a box. You can see this box around the screen here with, like, the, uh, you know, ancient, you know, ruins-looking style. I love how they, they respectfully put it in 4x3, but put it in a perfect bandwidth. Like, not bandwidth. What the hell am I smoking? Ratio that uh, basically allowed the gameplay smooth on the PC. Because the frames are just a crazy good. Like, This is something we'll be playing for Thursdays through Saturdays, by the way. Yesterday I didn't do it because, yeah, Altered Beast is uh, certainly like the visuals on the PC weren't too bad on that one, believe it or not. Yeah, a bit like uh, Altered Beast. Um, I'm trying to think what else. There's another game, not Inca. I was going to bust out Inca, but that, not Inca. That's a game I'm actually trying to get a hold of as well, Inca. I mean, the game's not that great, but I just want to get it for my collection. That's that weird kind of thing there. Adjust speed. Uh, turn sounds on and off. Okay, so zero through nine. So okay. Enter. Keyboard control. Hold on, I'm trying to look up what the heck the Alamos are for. I can't remember anymore.
Yeah, I'm trying to find it, and I can't find the freaking... Okay, 5.1 point... Oh, okay, you sell those to the bank. I was, I was wondering if that's even what those are for, but it seems like you convert those, and then you get some money back for it, so they're just a conversion item. Now that makes sense. I was like, what the hell are these even used for? It said something roughly in the text here, but I was like, what are these for? Okay, this is a table that informs which kind of money elements are worth in each place. So for every one of the Alamas, we get six gold. So we have 33, so... So 33 times six. And that's not working in my small brain. Hundred and ninety eight gold. Okay. So hundred and sixty eight gold ain't too bad. Okay. Well you also got an email on the website as well. Let's go to the bank. Oh, excuse me. Can I help you? Exchange almas. Okay, so one to six. Uh, go outside. Experience, DVD, yes please. I wonder if I can go like this. Let's see how, how far we can go with this. I'm going to crank this up to, to uh, 9. I pressed 9 just now. Oh my god, that is buttery smooth. Oh my god, that looks so much better. <laughs> I should probably turn that down. Hold on. Man, I'm making some bank. Pardon the fun. No, 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 no. I was, um, I was slower. I like, speeding up the game. Like you do F9 to see. So I want to do try six. So I guess too, if your computer can't handle it, you can turn it down. Yeah. Which is cool. Like, you go like this and go... Let's try five. Oh, that's perfect, actually. That is actually... That five is perfect. Not too fast. It's just the right speed. However, I broke my shield. in the shield. <laughs> That's actually very important in this game to have. See? Very important to have, because if you don't, you're going to get messed up.
can rest here. Thank you. Aw, oh, yeah. Next time I gotta pay attention to my shield's uh, durability. If it hits like 10, I'll run back to town. I'm sh okay, I got plenty of those. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes. Yep, there's actually some tongue-in-cheek in this game for that. Let's save here. Always save often. Though I need to get a mapper to try to uh, take it from the keyboard to a controller. Like a Genesis controller would be perfect on this. That's my sword! So for every one to six is... Rats, slugs, and automobiles. What a troll. Never mind, I spoke too soon. I definitely spoke too soon. Barrel, barrel, barrel. 35. Peak. Man, this is like trolley capers right here. Soul. Make me jump rope with my sword? Gotcha. You get a key. English translation to this is actually Zelda-like too, which makes me smile. Like golds, like from um Xenaxidu. You get the golds, and I'm like, I do. Makes me nervous every time I do it. The 
way that jump platforming in this game isn't necessarily kosher, so it's like that nervous, sweaty feeling when you go across you like every time. Congratulations. You gotta be super careful on those that fall because if you fall down, you're gonna run all the way back, and it's not fun. That frog is patient. What the hell are you two doing? Kinky mofos. Stranger danger. Oh shit. Stranger danger. I think we're able to level up. There we go. I mean, I died, but at least I got some progress, which is good. Boss kicked the living crap. I lost all my golds, though. Unfortunately, I gotta reset the game now. I have to actually go in here and load it back up again. That's the only way you could technically. load up the game and everything, or your save. The only downside. No, you're good, you're good. Seven. Wait, what? That's right, I gotta type it in. I'm so wait, what? Ah, oh, man. No. Okay, how much do I need to deposit? Okay. I mean, it is a... 
Yeah, this is from 1990, which is just like, Jesus. Oh, they went full Dark Souls. Okay, clay shield, 50. Okay, we'll deal with the clay for now. Go outside. I don't think they'll understand how to play the game within 10 or 20 minutes. And the controls themselves are simple enough. It's like space to attack, enter to enter your inventory, and all that. Arrow keys to move around. It's very simple controls, but. will not end well. Right, yeah, because, like, this game is, like, it's simplistic controls, but... Like, you can use, like, a Master System controller and be able to map this game out pretty much. Or average Genesis controller, rather. Okay, so I can run around here and do like a routine. They give you a 10. That's about 10 times six gold for every... not bad. Okay, so around this area here, frogs get one alamus, roughly. Quick here. Very hard to get up there, though. Frogs are so mean. Froggy ain't messing around. Exactly, we use keyboards, we use joysticks, which actually, ironically, still got my joystick over there. Um, the thing about games like this, like, they are not um, kind uh, towards you just kind of just sitting there going, oh, well, I'll just keep going on Gabunga. It's like, if you go on Gabunga, it's going to remind you. Yeah, I got my craft control. Where the heck did I put it? I put it in a box. Yep, I put it in a box. Did I? Yep, I put it in a box. But my old craft control uh, joystick there, I'm actually trying to get an adapter for that so I can actually put it. Uh, deposit money. We'll put. We'll put, uh, 66. 
156. We'll just keep saving and saving and saving and saving. We'll keep, like, around 200 gold. I'm just going to keep buying... All right, so we can go back to the church over here real quick and heal up for free. Basically, we're going to be saving up with what I'm doing here is I'm going to be saving up. I'm going to buy two potions here. Or these uh, Kinko potions. Or Kenko potions. Oh, crap. I got my weapon. Prepare my shield before I head back in there. Thirteen golds. There we go. Shield is very important in this game. I'm gonna put the rest of my gold inside the bank now. As we pretty much what we're gonna do is like a re reputation. We're gonna make a lot of money. And then, there we go, buy a new sword, and then be able to do more damage and be more successful and all that. So repetition is gold here. Literal sense in this entire explanation. Go outside. Right. Okay, that time they didn't quite give us those. Oh, I have frogs in. Oh, son of a gun. Okay, I wonder if I walk all the way over here, like this. Okay, it works like that, too. Blair and Jesus is going to be kind to us. Nope. Okay, I'll just go like this. Hope this work the same way. It has to be a little bit further away. We do get the frog back. The other frog back. Oh, the whole game's a maze. <laughs> like, I would have to literally draw this game if I wanted to survive. That sounds like that's actually a good idea. I'm afraid to at the same time, because that'd be a lot of work. Like, I would draw it up in Gridtographer, but that's a lot of work. Like, literally all the cavern levels are freaking mazes, like every single one of them. Side here for a second. Not really losing too much health either, so so far with this farming I can at least repair my shield and worry about healing afterwards. I'm just hoping I can get better RNG here with these 
bats, but it doesn't seem like they're going to drop those light blue orbs anymore. Like, they got smart to what I was doing. They're like, oh, you're trying to farm, huh? Let me show you. They got wise to what I was doing. <laughs> it was like, oh, I see what you're doing. Quick, take away what he was, what he was farming. Yep, it's a clean farm. It's not too bad. I mean, it's like it's gonna be a little grindy, but I think after after a while, it's gonna really start giving me the diminishing returns I want. Okay, want to deposit fifty? There we go. We'll make it we'll round it off even. Balance is 295, which is perfect. Always depositing the 50. And when we break the bank for about. Actually, I don't remember how much this order was. Was it 2k? I gotta look because I can't remember. I'm farming for something. I can't. Oh, that ain't too bad. 1500. That ain't too bad. Okay, that's how I do it. I was trying to leave the menu and it kept doing that to me. That's cheap. I'll do that. Right? Okay, I buy two more. The potions and just throw the rest of the bank. Interested in the Mega Stone, this protects the ore, living being the loot, and also the ore to prevent influence from another ore to act as a protection against enemy attacks. Can't tell you about anything else. Nope. Okay, so basically a bubble. That's right. I love my old man sword. It's dangerous out there. Now the game's gonna play coy with those orbs. It's gonna play very coy with those orbs. Yeah, 
And when I figured out the rhythm and it was like, not today. Not today, not tomorrow, not next week. Never mind, let's go through some. The game in itself just trying to get those orbs to try. Oh crap, I was paying attention. No, I broke my shield. I was checking my HP and I looked away like what the hell I was running into. I can actually get a play good. Figure out my secret, I'm weak to damage. I've actually played strategically now. The game's like, I knew it! Get him! Yeah, definitely don't do that. Frog is just vicious. And that dog, that frog was getting further in the game than I am. out here with that. Put the rest in the bank. Yeah, you're just like, oh, this is cozy. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, if you're like on a couch or something like that, it's perfect, you know. My thing is, like, if I fold my legs or cross my legs for too long, they literally lock on me. So it's like, I'll be sitting there like, oh, God, my legs. Like, when I was a kid, I got, it was terrible. I got to be crossing my legs. It would just lock into place. I have to, like, try to unpop them, whatever. I, it hurt like hell, too. I guess I'll double record it. There you go. Okay, so we're at 450. 
We need to have sword before we do anything else. Looks like I'm paying back my debts at Tom Nook. Video gaming's worst flung shark. Like, hey Dan, you wanna go out and hang with us? Nah, nah, I can't. I gotta pay my debts off the Tom Nook. Tom Nook from freaking Animal Crossing, he is a bastard. And his little nephews like like the freaking leg breakers. Terrible. Yeah. Will you give me such a hard time? Wanna know, Rock? Yeah, I wanna know! Because you could be something, but nothing more than a leg breaker for a lone shot. Ridiculous. Have the mice for Elizabeth. Oh, no, oh, Randy, I really have no fucking idea. I don't look at it. That sensational Sherry's a lot more uh, attractive. Shad was uh, uh, pretty as well. It's a shame what happened to her with Sable uh, stuff. Like, that just totally fucked her up. Watching the dark side of the ring and, like, that hearing about how she felt after what all went down. Like, they basically wanted a Barbie doll versus an actual wrestler, and then so they got that, but then in turn, it screwed up Luna Vashon totally. She could actually wrestle, which was sad, too. It's like she could actually wrestle her ass off. Yeah, Lundra Blaze as well, who could wrestle her ass off. Yeah, Bull who can wrestle very well. Yeah, they were pretty ladies, but at the same time, they, they really didn't focus on their own looks. They just focused on beating each other's ass in an entertaining way. They're excellent, excellent wrestlers. Like, Blaze, I would say she's like equivalent to the Dynamite Kid in the ladies' division at the time. Dynamite Kid was a freaking beast, but... Blaze was incredible. Or Medusa, people know her uh, more uh, uh, commonly. Bull was excellent as well, like, you just had some... Yeah, you had... Mae Young and, um, what the hell's her name? The other lady there, the one that, um, she always tried to take control of everything. I forget what the hell her name is. I mean, she was older dues for, care, like, making women's wrestling what it was, but at the same time, she was very greedy, at the same board too. I can't remember her damn name anymore. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't May, it was someone else. Don't always hung out with Mae Young. 
Like if she saw a younger talent try to get over, she would immediately step in and try to take all the limelight from them. Which is unfortunate. I can't remember her damn name. Okay, 126 for Amas. So I'm gonna turn these in real quick. Moolah! There it is. Yeah, Fabulous Moolah, I think it was. That was a good chunk of these. Awesome Kong. Yeah, she was she just a great great person. Repair real quick. Yeah. Okay, put the rest in the bank. And it's pretty much the most important thing about this game, unfortunately, is you gotta save, 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 get the good sword, then... Uh, you, by the time you're all doing all this farming, you're actually leveling up at the same time, so you're actually power leveling yourself a little bit. And get more familiar with the game, and so you get you know, a nice little seasoning going. Okay, looks like it's as high as we can go. Yeah. Really good actress as well. Like she was on um, Glow on Netflix. She was fun. Like, I mean, the, the persona they made her play in that show was kind of like, eh. I just didn't know trying to portray what they were doing on that show, but at the same time, it's like, mm. <laughs> really necessary. boss down <coughs> for stream ends. Hello, farming spot. Nice 
so much for that. At least we can farm that for one frog. <coughs> Music in this area is really cool. What's that? Wait a minute, the frog just went kamikaze! What the hell happened? Frog it, baby! What happened? Where'd you go wrong? Kamikaze, uh, Kermit over here. He's like, I'm all set for the day. Boss time. Encounter. To this time, hot chocolate. Get the butter, boys. I get key. That's a cool... That is a really cool animation. Yeah! Ooh, I, ooh, I stretched that just not... I mean, he burped. That was really intense. Kermit the Frog here. Welcome to Stranger. You must have come through the labyrinths from the outside world. We have not encountered such a brave person in a very long time. You should visit the great sage Asmund, as she will be anxious to meet you. Before I do that, I'm going over here to the, uh, the sage. I shall teach you the magic spell of throwing swords. Aspinata. Seek power. Hey, that was a cool animation, whether it's a bootleg or not. That was fantastic. See, I'm surprised you didn't try to go with He-Man or Lionel with that one, though. I was waiting for that to pop. <laughs> Music, this game is so great. Let's go to the bank here. That's perfect. Okay. Okay. Wise man's sword. Good to me. Um Okay, we're going to have to upgrade to that shield after. That one looks great. Beware, I went into the caverns and saw an awful creature, a giant demon octopus. It was terrifying, but I escaped. I hope you will be, able to be more lucky. Or be as lucky. <coughs> this game definitely taught me one thing. It's to save your money and save it often.
Thank you. Come again. There we go. <coughs> Jelly's here. Nothing in the box. Really cool animation with that, the slide. Like, the detail in this game is crazy. Oh no! Take that. <laughs> Can't get up there. As damaging as holy shit. Oh, my God. What the hell is this? Track backwards. I want to, yes, but at the same time, it's hell to try to save in this game, so I'd rather not. My curiosity is saying yes, 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 but my, my intellectual side is saying hell no, no, no. Exactly. That's, I was looking at that big red button going, hell no. If a sign that's in front of it saying, please don't open this box, says don't open this box, I'll, if I can quick save, I'll try it, but if I can, I'm not going to. Push it real good. Do, 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 do. Okay, what's a saber oil do? Okay, so you can repair your shield with that. Okay, so I need to buy some potion, like two 
I'll probably buy two of those magic things at one healing potion. He looks like, what the hell is that guy singing push about? That's what I'm coming for. on my nose for a second there. Oh man, I was way too fast. I opened the chest. I did it. Get back here, you little son of a gun. Gold, so you should be careful. That's at least a K. Or almost a K. It does, it pays off, and it felt so good. I've recovered HP. Danny has broken the wall and discovered something completely useful. I got 50 golds. He hops in victory. Okay, I have 92 there. I'm not... I'm not playing to, uh... Captain's Log, Star Date. And jerk my hand around rapid fire. Like, hey, hey. six oh two. Deposit the monies. <clears throat> well, imagine bumping a ceiling. Go outside. Now, if it's feathers on a helmet. <laughs> I 
Oh crap, I gotta check my level. I was over here like, I'm gonna run back in the, the uh, cave and not get myself leveled up. Okay. I mean, the characters comfortable with themselves being able to use that. It's 2022. I mean, I'll say this much: if a, if a gentleman or a person can pull off lipstick and panties, all the power to them. I can't get mad at anybody for that. It's hard to pull off lipstick and panties. How do you know, Danny? Shit. Why you pointing to me? <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta see what happens. Oh, can't go up there. Run to Vlas, yeah. There's a key. I get key. No, I over jumped it. Poop. Get your big ass back up. Getting on top of there is a little tricky. Try to focus on the fact that they're above me. That was close. Thank you. 
Oh no! Holy shoot! This is the way out. Exit, I believe. I think it is. There's a lot of stuff to carry home. Last half of that. All the way back here? Hell no! 